what's up she squad back in the building with another video hi everybody so braids y'all these braids right here are probably like a day too old um they not, was not really that tight when i um got them done like to the point where it was like over the top but i did feel them you know what i mean um which is a good thing because you want to feel like your hair got somewhat done but you don't want to feel like you in pain where you your edges is snatched um but yeah Overall, I paid $200 for these braids, which is typical for African braid shop if you've ever been to one. Now, you know, it's the upside and downside about African braiding shops. Um, I started going maybe around my senior year when it was a thing, you know. Before then, my mom would just braid my hair. And that's when I first experienced, like, paying that much to get my hair braided. And overall, back then, it was like a thing because, like, when you got your hair braided by the Africans, everybody would know because the braiding style the technique was so much different now you know it's times where i have been and it looked no different than um going to your home girl or going to you know just a regular hairstylist or somebody that just around the way braider you know um so you have to be real mindful of what style you are going for you know have a game plan or what you're going for and try to have a idea and research that shop to know what they kind of specialize in i know recently the thing has been like the knotless braids everything like that i have had some good experiences with not knotless braids and then not so good experiences but i have been going to the same shop for like a little bit of time now but the knotless braids was like a thing that was kind of like you know the thing at one time so it's like kind of new in a way to the african braiders even though they might not say that but i think it is so they kind of had to learn how to like you know do that technique you know really good and i think they probably got it now you know but when i first got it i had like some little lumps and bumps in my braids and you know i had to go back but you know don't be afraid to speak up for yourself don't be afraid to you know let them know if you don't like something because you are paying them a lot of money you know and they do have um you know their own way of doing things and they have you know they're very cultured you know i have seen a couple girls come in there and it was like they want this and they want that and they like you had two shots you know you can't get it. they choose to go to an african braiding shop and not just a hair salon or anything like that is because i wanted to get in and out um, sometimes I go look for braiders and I can't find anybody that can braid my hair there like you can, you have to book like months out you know and by the time you know you think about booking months out you're like no I need my hair done this weekend I don't have time to wait you know all you know a month and a half to get my hair done so yeah that's pretty much it on um time frame make sure you speak up for yourself um you know make sure you have your idea of a style these braids right here these are called the um tribal braids that's what they call them now you know corn rolls but they tribal braids i insert a picture of what i was going for all they executed pretty good i realized that you know the salon that i did go to they specialize more in the braids and more into the box braids but the knotless braids is the thing now like every girl that was walking in was like i want knotless braids i want knotless braids i want knotless braids and because I've been going there for a little while now, I'm starting to learn that the knotless braids are still good to go to. But if you want to get your money's worth at the African braid shops, um, you know, get yourself some box braids, get yourself some corn rolls. You know, don't go to them for styles that your homegirl can do. Because like what happened was they did my um, French braids, but my real hair was like um, kind of 
kinky you know because like i said i've been working on my natural hair and they don't take out the time to uh you know they don't take out the time to just uh you know straighten through your real hair you know manage your real hair to kind of give you that nice french braid look you know they're just gonna like blow dry it out brush it and put a french braid in it and they that was like a hundred dollars so i was like mm -hmm. do because like large knotless braids medium knotless braids don't pay them 180 dollars 200 dollars for stuff like that because they can do that in like an hour and they're going to get like $200 out of you. And it's not worth it. You can pay somebody $50 or you can, you know, get somebody that can just know how to plait a little bit. And it's good enough, you know, like I, I just wouldn't recommend it. You know, for me, myself, personally, I did. The last braids that you seen in that I had in, I caught myself going to the Africans to get large, not loose braids. Remind you, they actually charged me $180 for the hairstyle. So I was like, never again. And it looked just like somebody just did it, just just ran, a random person did it, not like a professional. So I don't recommend those type of braids. Um, I do recommend just taking out the time. If you don't have time that day to get your hair done, don't go to an African, you know, because this style right here, they started at eight o'clock. I was done like at one o'clock, you know, so it took me a long time. And you know, when I first had my baby, I was trying to get styles that I could get in and get out. But you don't want to do that with an African braid shop. You want to make sure you got the time to invest into sitting down and letting them really do your hair. Because if not, they're going to rush you up out of there and you're going to have something real quick and you're going to spend a bunch of money. Okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it was helpful. Um, yeah, I told y'all the price. I told y'all everything like that. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to go. You know, I have had my ups and downs with the um, African Breeding Shop. So, yeah, but overall, just stick to the game plan. So, that's pretty much it. So, I'll see y'all in the next video.